Whoops! Fuck! Wrong button! And we're live! <laughs> uh, Thanks. Thanks it, it's not always the easiest thing streaming one of these games and having the thing on screen. Hey guys! Welcome to, to some uh, Let's Stream WWF No Mercy. This is a fresh file, I believe it is. I don't think I've done much on this, in fact. So I haven't beaten any of the story mode things. Although once I did 100% the entire game, and then my hard drive died. I really should have <laughs> screenshot that. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I plan to, not all in this stream of course, go through every single one of these championship things, and in a lot of these matches you can win or lose and they take you in different directions. So we're just going to see what happens when we go into these. Now, I don't remember what I have the controls mapped to perfectly, so the first match might be a little rusty, but I'm sure I'll pick it up quick. And I already have pre-planned who I'm going to use for what. So, hey Brandon. Yeah. Pick a championship we should compete for. Women's. Women's immediately? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're just going to start with the women's championship. Now, I did edit all of the wrestlers in-game to look like their most recent versions of them. Although I still need to give the Rock his beard. I forgot to do that. So, uh, we're going to be women's champion... Viscera and his Big Daddy V attire. The game oh. allows this. It's disgusting. It gets better. Oh, by the way, if uh, the noise at the window, like the wind and stuff, becomes too loud, let me know. Speaking of too loud, the game could use... Is it Whoa! There we go. I forgot about this match. Oh my god, oh... Apparently Mae Young is the number one contender for the, uh, for the women's championship. That was, uh... Alright, no, whether, whether you win or lose determines uh, what's gonna happen here. So where I go in the story. I may lose to the, what was she at this time, 60 Mae Young? This is probably the scariest facial animation I've seen in a game recently. How recently? Within the last year. Yeah, this game's got some uh, creepy faces. Everyone okay. in the audience has a sign. Oh, except for those two guys. Dicks. I'm, uh, I'm picking up the controls again pretty fast. The Women's Championship... Uh... All the, all the women's championship stuff is pretty low difficulty, I believe. Well, yeah, they're, you're a man and they're women. Yes. And you're, men are inherently better, right? You're a giant, According to the WWE. You were a giant fat black man. Well, to be fair, I am six foot six and she's like five foot eight, and yet somehow in this game, height differences are so minor looking that it looks like we're about the same height. Oh, she's also wearing heels. That's a good point. She's wrestling in heels. Which, I'm killing her. Which should be illegal in wrestling. Uh, by all could, means, yes. She could, she, like, kill you with those. Now, I believe in this game, if you get Viscera, his special finisher, um, he actually can do a diving splash off the top rope. It's just, he dive, He has so little range on the dive, he can't get a pin from it. Like, he can't land, land in pinning position because the opponent will uh, still be tied up in the ropes. It'll mm. kill him, though. In fact, let's do that. First match, I'm gonna hit a diving splash. The 400 pound splash. 400 pound splash onto a 60 year old woman. Onto a 60 year old woman, that's about 100 pounds at most. Oh my god, it's not a rope break. And that's the first case of murder. Let's get a murder count going in the chat. First degree. Yeah. And Viscera goes to the top rope. <laughs> Instant bullshit. I've seen him dive off the middle rope before, and that was terrifying. He pretty much eclipsed the sun. <laughs> yeah. For a while, one of his finishers was a uh, standing splash, so I can only imagine how much a diving one would hurt. Death count one. Alright, we're at death count one. 
A lot of people have different counts for this. People have death counts, people have number of murders. We have a murder count uno. Uh, let's get a death count going in Portuguese. It's for the Spanish audience. Just because you can beat up a grandmother or two. What? It's easy to trash someone else. Just be- What? That's not a full sentence! <laughs> okay. Come on! Exclamation point, exclamation point, space. Who do you think you are? Cut the crap. I'll expose your puppies to the whole crowd. Come on. You can really tell this was during the Attitude Era. I think everyone can already see his man tits. <laughs> I think so too. It's unfortunate for everyone. Yeah. She's already begging. Oh my god! Did she just win a tackle fight? <laughs> I was she knocked right on my ass. She knocked you down with her tits. Wait, this is Ivory? Yes. Wasn't Ivory black? She doesn't look black to me. Maybe I'm forgetting my Attitude Era uh, divas because none of them mattered. The women's champion is gonna matter. Uh, you mean the new women's champion, Big Daddy V? Yeah. Whoa, reverse Irish whip. How did she reverse that much weight? We have one of the translate. One of the translations is powered by Google Translate. Thank you. Is is that uh, that looks that looks Latin? <laughs> Are you sure that's Portuguese? I don't know. Uh uh oh, she's already looking a little dead. Yes, I can't believe they put this in his move set. Right on the neck! Oh wow, no cell. What are you, Cena? No, she's Ivory, idiot. Oh, I must have gotten the name wrong. Okay, <laughs> question, how do you kick out when Big Daddy V is on top of you? Like, I don't care if he hasn't hit you even once, how do you push that weight off of you? This is, this is how they're going to explain to everybody in the world that wrestling is fake. <laughs> there we go, hit him with the ghetto drop, and she's getting back up. Okay. All right, gonna hit her with a sweet sit-out power bomb, Brandon style. What? That's what you do, sit-out power bomb. Fun. Yeah. Remember in the billions of wrestling games you've been in now? You know, oh, fan. Yeah. You know, fan or two has actually made you in the wrestling games and tweeted pictures at me. Really? Yeah, they've made us as a tag team in the wrestling games at home. Hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. We're so popular. How am I enjoying uh, Goddess? It's uh, it's really fun for an alpha. I'm looking forward to uh, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, see what the next patch is going to be for it. All right, so far we're undefeated on our path to the women's championship. Playing as a six foot six, four hundred pound man. Isn't, isn't Goddess like a world creation game? Holy crap, uh, it's a blue woman. It kind of is, yeah. It's uh, it's from Peter Molyneux's studio, and it's a remake of Peter Molyneux's old um, uh, Populous games, where basically you're a god, and you form the earth, and as you as you make your, your civilization better, and make their life better, and have them progress... Um, as they progress, they believe in you more, and the more belief they have gives you more points to spend on making the world better. And what you can have is you can actually then have your people that you raise fight against other people, both in multiplayer and against computers. So what's happening in this match is, um, depending on who wins this match, between Tori and Kat is where my path goes. This I'm the special the referee. This is the first time that Viscera has ever been double teamed by women. <laughs> Actually, for a while he had the gimmick, uh, the world's largest largest love machine, Viscera. Uh, his finishers were the Sex Drive and the Visegra. Mm. Yeah, it was pretty much the Viscera version of uh, Mark Henry's sexual chocolate gimmick. Sexual chocolate was the gimmick he had in this game. Huh. So Kat asked us to make her win, which makes us the good guy 
for some reason if we rig the match for her. And we're the bad guy if Tori wins. I say we let Tori win. I want to be the evil woman. Ah, ah. She's, she hit a small package on the referee. What the hell? Um, the Savage Helios made a comment forever ago that he'd make me in the in his game if he knew what I looked like. Oh, if I uh, knew... I, you've been how, on screen If I knew before, how his you? hair looked. Oh. Um, you've been on screen, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, there, cool. there are some pretty public pictures of you. There is a picture of me on my Twitch account. Yeah. In fact, there are also, there's also a picture of you on, if you go to my my Facebook, which my Facebook is completely public and a lot of people have it, uh, you're right on the friends list there. It's not like you It's not like you hide your name. Is Why is Tori trying to pick me up now? The hell? Oh god, they're trying to team up on me. <laughs> ah, what the hell? Bail! I will now stalk your face, Brandon. Okay, looks like they're focusing on each other again. Uh, so which, which one of them's Tori and which one of them's Cat? Uh, Tori is the blonde, Cat is the blue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just a little lost in their fighting. Because it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, their match kind of sucks. Do you plan on streaming WWE 2012 or 13? I have neither. <laughs> I want them, however, I don't have any consoles there on. Do you, do you plan on do you plan on streaming them? No, I will never stream them even if I do get them. <laughs> I I would stream them if I had them. You know all the games I like? I'm going to stop streaming them. Yeah. Um and am I streaming uh, Fire Pro later? Not during this stream now. I'm I probably will tomorrow on my birthday stream. And Sayuto Suplex, and yeah, pretty much dead. I thought your birthday stream was going to be a full day of streaming Framing Frame. Uh, you mean doing Framing Frame without killing any guards? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Framing Frame without any guns? Uh, well, there's going to be... I'm So far, In the only armor. plans I have for it are I'm going to be doing at least some... Uh... God, I... No, I don't want to fight you. Bail. Um... At least some of it will be, uh, in fact, it'll probably start with, uh, what he can I playing some Saints Row the Fourth. He actually, uh, gifted me that game. Nice. Yeah. I want to get that game. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. Yeah, Saints Row the Third with superpowers. It, it looks fun, although the immediate problem I saw with VGA playing it is that it looks like cars are completely pointless because you almost immediately are able to, like, travel via just jumps and shit. Yep, you get super speed. Yeah. Yeah. Why would her blue hair taste like cotton candy? Why wouldn't it? I bet all of what she's wearing is made of cotton candy. Yes. Oh. Oh, Tori, help! <laughs> Tori, would you just go for a pin already? Like, she's dead, okay? I can count the pin. God, this is the worst part of uh, guest referee matches, waiting for the stupid AI to go for a pin. You have this match in the bag! They want you to know when you're... Danta wants to know when you're going to start your stream tomorrow. I would assume oh. you're going to start it sometime after you wake up. Um, well, yes. Probably after breakfast. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do it like, um, I don't know, 11-ish a.m. Eastern Standard Time? Oh, uh, what was the button to fucking... I have never done a guest referee match since remapping my, uh, my gamepad. So I'll wait for <laughs> another pin. Um... Ooh, double team move? Aw, oh, she didn't come off the ropes. Damn. Um. Oh god, what was I gonna say? Right, I'm gonna probably like around 11 a.m. EST or something, because later in the day I do have some plans to uh, eat a big meal with my mom and sister. Do birthday stuff? Uh, yeah, it'll be the first time I've actually celebrated my birthday outside the stream in like years. Uh, which, personally, I, I don't really care. I like the stream. It's just... 
You know, I had pl these plans with Fatima and stuff, but then she got really sick, so we're just gonna have dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never celebrate my birthday either. So I'm just choking a woman to death. Can't call a rope break if I'm the ref. Well, you're not choking her to death because you're not actually holding onto her neck. I think I'm just thinking about Chris Benoit. You were kind of holding onto her face. Yeah, she she can't look. What the fuck? What the fuck? What was that shit? They double teamed you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she just apparently Cat can lift me for a power bomb. They both want you to live. They not they, well. They obviously both want you to live. <laughs> they both want you to make them win. They both want you to live. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Is it? Eh. What if I? Uh. No. Okay. Press all the buttons. The fuck button is it? Just, start, just go for more pins, guys. Start doing a pinfall right now. Doesn't matter that they're both up. Counter out. The fuck? What the shit happened there? Just, just gonna no, no, ow! Oh. I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> what are physics? Okay, I'm just gonna let them do their thing for a minute. Hopefully she'll do a finisher. That'd be nice. Oh, she's doing the great. She's doing the giant spin. An interesting choice for a finisher game. The fuck? What the hell are they talking about on in the chat? Uh, dicks. Is your profile pic on here? Is what you like in Int? I. Oh, oh IRL. In real life. Is that directed at me? I think so. Yes, that's me. <laughs> no, he's the guy. He's he's the wrestler in the uh, in the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, the hat. Yeah, he's the wrestler in the hat. The picture in the stream. The Santa hat. Oh, oh. I was gonna say, no one in this match has a hat on. That guy in the audience has a hat. Oh, no. Nobody in the audience has hats on. Um. The fuck button is it? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Okay, I know how to count it now. Go for a pin. Go for a pin. Come on. I did fucking. Okay, I'm gonna murder her, and then Tori will go for a the pin. Cock pants. The cock pants is unfortunately not in this game. In fact, it was in very few <laughs> WWE games. Okay, she landed on her neck. Go for the pin, Tori. Okay, just Sambo suplex. Go for the pin, Tori. Don't you fucking taunt. I mean, you could recreate the cock pounce in this game, I guess. Probably. Might not be as quite as strong, but... Um, Probably wouldn't look as good either. You would also need a shoulder block as a bouncing off the ropes move, which no one has by default. Uh. Don't you dare knock her out of the ring, Tori. Just let her come back in and pin her. You know what? I have an idea. You have idea? Yeah. Eh. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> you pin her. Tori, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, god damn it. If Tori didn't dive out of the ring, I wouldn't have to slow down the count. How do you know how to count when they're out of the ring, but you don't know how to count when they're pinned? Because I figured out the button. Fuck. Oh. It's a rope break, I couldn't do a pin. Don't I'm... you call the rope breaks? Yes, but I'm not allowed- it's the same button, so I'm not allowed to ignore That's rope breaks. fucking dumb. I'm just gonna start choking her. She's gonna die soon. She deserves she's in... it. She's in danger level. She's not in the danger zone, she's just <laughs> in the danger level. What the fuck? Yeah, that didn't work. Tori tried to kill herself. You know, this match would end a lot faster if she would go for a pin! Oh, she parkoured! 
just stop fucking no no I don't want to fight you oh god damn it no Tori go back to fighting the match god this sucks yeah <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? I did a fast count in everything. One, two. Uh. That's great. Okay, I've got a baseball bat. Cat. Okay, I was gonna say that's not a baseball bat, but you pulled something out else out of the audience. I don't know what the first thing Good was. It looked like it was like a piece of meat. Ow! What happened? <laughs> everything went wrong. Why is the baseball bat two dimensional? Ah! <laughs> okay, I was also accidentally kicked, but fucking ah, wrong person. Ah! Did you fucking hit the person you're trying? To... <laughs> okay, I'm just <laughs> savagely beating murdering a woman. <laughs> hey, you! Pay attention to the match, Tori. Your opponent is concussed. Good kick, Tori. Go for a pin. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> You're just running from the fight. Okay, Tori, pin. Pin, Tori. It's the worst stream ever because you won't do a pin. <laughs> Tori. Tori, do a pin. Pin that fucking bitch. Do a. Okay, they're paying attention to each other again. Yes! No! Game! <laughs> God damn it, the item button is also the pin button. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, pinner. I killed her! Yes! I annihilated her with a belly to belly. She flipped vertically. You're gonna be the guest rep. Also, you're gonna fucking kill the other person. Yeah. So, I murdered someone, I un unintentionally concussed the winner. Still undefeated! One, two, three! Done! You're out! <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much the count. The sound clip didn't even finish. Oh, I'm a backstabber because I didn't read the match for her. Chapter 4, Revenge. The animation <laughs> looks like it's from the original Spider-Man. Same console. So I have to beat her in under three minutes? Also, she actually thinks she can win a backstage assault in the parking lot. I'm just go gonna get, murder her. Go get in that car and hit her with it. I'm just gonna do a lot of slams so she lands on the concrete. This is a parking lot. It's like playing backyard wrestling. Yeah, except for far <laughs> less shit. <laughs> I remember I went to somebody's house, like I was at like a party and I played it. Wasn't that the Juggalo wrestling game? It, was a it had like it wrestling. had like Shaggy Two Dope in it. <laughs> I don't know who was in it. It had the two clown dudes, right, from Insane Clown Posse. I think so. Yeah, that was their wrestling game. Because did you know that they're actually they actually are wrestlers on the side, and that they own their own wrestling company? Oh. Yeah, Juggalo Championship Wrestling. It's garbage. <laughs> yeah, Backyard Wrestling was garbage. I played it on the Sega Dreamcast, so... It had a lot of good wrestlers in it from the indie scene, but the game itself was garbage. It's like the only game ever to have Sanjay Dutt in it. Actually, the TNA game had Sanjay Dutt also, but the TNA game also sucked. Still better than Backyard Wrestling. So yep. I'm just choking a woman backstage in the parking lot. Backyard Wrestling was my first wrestling game ever. Is that why you almost never gave wrestling games a chance until, like, you were at my place? Kinda. But, I don't know. Just something else about it I don't like. I, I tend not to like ring fighters like that. I like it. I so, like party uh, her fighters. head bounced off the cement on that one. Pinfall? Fucking who counted yeah, it apparently out? there was a ref back here who counted the pin in the parking lot backstage assault. Did the game? No, I don't think the game had Zach Gowan. I can't. I don't think there is a wrestling game with Zach Gowan. It'd be hard to program a dude with one leg. <laughs> hey, Brandon, out of the snar, cunt and Reganal, which is your favorite wrestler? Well, those are the only three wrestlers ever. 
Oh yeah. I couldn't pick between them because they're all so great. So here's Stephanie McMahon, who is the women's champion. I love how it looks like none of the pieces of their body are supposed to be attached. Yeah, uh, part of it is the emulator fucks with it just slightly, but most of it was in the core game. They like jiggle around. They like. <laughs> and why do the, all the women like hunch over when they're talking to you? That's what every wrestler does in this game. Also, her neck snaps off when she turns because the belt is there. So she's just giving up the belt. She renounced her title. So she there's did. going to be a triple threat match to see who becomes the champion. Who renounces their title? Who's like, fuck it, I don't want to be the champion anymore. Well, she said, like, that wasn't a match, that was a nightmare. Like, you're a terrifying monster of a human being. I'm not defending my title against you. So basically, she gave up her title so I wouldn't kill her. Wait, she gave up her title basically because you would beat her ass anyway, and now you yeah. don't get to have it, you have to win it? Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Well, I wasn't number one contender. Uh, there were three contenders. So we're all having a match now. First person to get a pinfall, knockout, or submission wins. Knock them both out at the same time. I don't think I can do that. Do it. They're pleading. <laughs> I'm hitting some sweet wheel kicks here. <laughs> yes! On Sp May, who's Spike like the pile driver. one I've seen. Yeah, Spike Piledriver on uh, Mae Young, the 60-plus-year-old. Wait, didn't you already fight Mae Young? Yeah, I don't know how she's still number one contender. And you fought Ivory, too. You fought both these people, right? Yeah, so why am I not higher up in the rankings than these people? Wow. I don't know. I am destroying these two. Now jump out onto them. I don't think I have any Palanchas with uh, Viscera. Uh... He has very few diving moves, what with being... A 400-pound Goliath. If I was a 400-pound Goliath, I would only have diving moves. Hey, Mae Young! Wham! Did you hit her head off Ivory's ass? Uh, off th I smashed her nose <laughs> off the, uh, the edge of the, the ring, and then threw her back first into the metal stairs. Ah. Uh. Well, it looked like you hit her up. Oh my ass. god! What was that feat of strength? A 60 plus woman just picked you up and threw you under the ground. Okay! Revenge, because that didn't even hurt. <laughs> One, two. Wow, Ivory didn't even seem to try to break it up. She backhanded, but didn't do anything. Well, you'll win. It won't take very long. Yeah. We're both almost down. Come on, get over here. I'm just focusing on Mae Young. <laughs> they want you to. What, just murder the old woman? Well, Joker said kill Mae. Okay, I can do it. Ah, fuck it. Now Ivory's trying to break it up. I think she's starting to realize, yeah, I can completely get a pin. There, I just did a low blow to Ivory. You punched her in the dick? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I punched her in the dick. <laughs> Maybe I'm not the only man competing. It wouldn't surprise me with the faces that they've got on these <laughs> people. <laughs> uh, fuck, my running grapple completely missed. Come on! Get up! Get over here! Yes! Power slam! One! Two! Ah! I don't Power know how slam. Both of these women are doing anything. What? I don't know how both of these women are even doing anything. They should be dead. I'm gonna do the, the ghetto drop from the top rope. This should murder someone! And collapsed ribcage. Madrai, would you ever join any of the factions of Warhammer 40k? No. That's a weird question. What? Any of the factions? Yeah, you know, like Imperial Guard or 
you know, like Imperium of Man or Orcs, I guess you could somehow join Eldar. If I could become one, no, I but, wouldn't become any. But no, 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 no. At that point, you wouldn't have a choice. You and I would both be Imperial Guard. Well, yeah, because we're, we're humans. We'd have to be a part of the Imperium of Man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about enough about the lore, but... Yeah, we would have to be a part of the Imperium of Man, basically. Well, yeah, we'd be part of the Imperium of Man, but I don't know yeah. if we'd have to be part of the Guard. Um, well, they have the draft, so... No. Oh. Then I guess maybe we would. Yeah, we probably would be just Guardsmen. Great. Guardsmen. Yeah. That's what I've always wanted. Oh, come on! Oh, she dick-punched me. <laughs> First dick-punch in the actual match. God, I was just trying to choke her. She can't tap out of a choke. It's not a legal move. Okay, dick-punch. And whip her neck off the steel cable. And hey, Mae Young, power bomb. I wish the power bomb animation didn't take a year. Yeah. You've got to do the, like, taunt in the middle. See, this is why triple threat matches suck. Luckily, the women's championship route doesn't take long. This might be the last match in the entire story for it. Really? Already? Yeah. It's uh, the shortest one. It didn't take long at all. I, longest, I think, is a tie between the tag team and the world heavyweight. That was a hell of a counter. I, oh, God. <laughs> They're double teaming me there. No, fuck, she's countering. How can she have the strength to block my grapples? Okay. Nice kick there, Mae Young. Weirdly flexible for being 8,000 years old. <laughs> it moved from being 60 to slightly over 60 to 8,000. Yeah. I don't know how much of that I believe. All of it. Although, May's momentum is higher than yours right now. Yeah. It's because you suck. Pretty much. It's because I suck at video games. Yeah. All of video games. Oh, God. Oh, that was actually a really strong tag team maneuver. And then she started smacking my groin or something. I think that was a taunt <laughs> at a very weird angle. <laughs> that bowled them both over. Come on. Oh, I almost got it, too. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, by the way, Brandon, I forgot, I forgot to tell you. Uh, you know the game State of Decay? No. Uh, VGA did it uh, quite a while ago. Um, it's a zombie game they did that was, like, for Xbox Live Arcade. Okay. Uh, it came out for PC, I think, two days ago now, and I've been playing it. It's not well optimized at all, and it requires a gamepad to play, but um, it's really fun. Awesome for just, like, 20 bucks, I think it was. Is it on Steam? Yep. Yeah. It's on Steam now. However, it does require... it Right now, it requires you have a gamepad that can simulate Xbox controller, but it's going to be, like, they say it's going to be, like, a full PC port. This is just the early access, and if you buy it in early access, you save, like, 10 bucks. Well, like, if it's yeah. going to be using an Xbox controller, the PC gamepad I have is an Xbox controller. Yeah, the PC gamepad I have has an Xbox mode. And it works just fine, I've been playing it. It's not well optimized at all. Regardless of whether I have it on the lowest or highest settings, it still runs like smooth butter and yet maxes out my RAM. Weird. It, It's not optimized. Hmm. It looks like it might be fun. It's crazy fun. I would stream it, but until they fix that optimization thing, it would probably be really bad for my computer trying to stream it because it maxes the RAM just playing it. Mm. Even though, like, and the game's really beautiful, but even on the lowest, crappiest settings, when it shouldn't be taxing it at all, uh, it completely maxes it out because it is so poorly optimized that it just doesn't know how to handle being on a on a computer. In fact, when you first boot up the game and it teaches you what an autosave is, because that's mandatory on consoles for some reason, it actually says don't turn off the console. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, 
Something else I wanted to tell you, I know that you have Company of Heroes 2 right now, but mm -hmm. it's it's on the first sale I've ever seen it on. Yeah, isn't it like a 33% off? Yeah, it's 40 bucks now. Yeah, I, ha I've ne I haven't even played a full match of the game, so I can't say if it's worth it. From a professional level, it's not worth it at all. There's so many problems with it, I know that much. But from a casual level, I don't know yet. I played a little bit, it seemed fun, but I didn't even play a whole match yet. I just didn't find time. I haven't played enough of the first one to get the second one, so... Yeah. We enjoyed the first one a lot, though. We did. Yeah, first one was great. I can definitely see that being a game to really get into. Yep. I'm just really trying to throw her in the corner here and get a grapple going, but she's reversing it every time! I'm the kind of person who plays, like, adventure games, though. They're kind of, like, action adventure games. Mm -hmm. Like, I play, like, games like... Well, I guess Kirby counts as an action adventure. That's one of the games I play. I play, like... Grand Theft Auto, all that kind of shit. Less a strategy person, less a fighting game person, more of an action adventure person. This is insane how much of a comeback they're suddenly making. It's insane that you haven't won yet. I know! I've, I've killed them so much, but they keep breaking up each other's pins. You have the lowest momentum by far. Yeah, I need to get some momentum back because you get reversed really easily with low momentum, and it's also easier to be pinned. So I'm just trying to do some taunts and stuff to get it back without having to fight. While they beat the shit out of each other? Yeah, I'm just gonna let them wear each other down. If I see a pinfall, I'll run in and try and break it up, of course. I'm just winding up for the sweetest clothesline of all time. <laughs> I can't believe this putting up your momentum. It is, it counts as a taunt. I know, but it's ridiculous. Because it just keeps working. Alright, I've actually got more than half momentum. You've almost full momentum. Come on. Get up, Ivory! Broken tailbone! Fuck you, Mei Young. This is gonna be my pin. God! Fucking... Get down! Obviously becoming the women's champion is not as easy as you thought. It shouldn't be this hard. Especially not as a man. Especially not- <laughs> especially when I weigh all of my competition by a minimum of 250 pounds! <laughs> oh god, they're like tag-teaming me! Okay. Mei Young, get out of my fucking ring. Fucking world's strongest slam. Mei Young, did you not hear, hear the words that came out of my mouth? Mei Young, out of my ring, you bitch. Slammed. One, two. She broke it up. Kicked her in the fucking head. Oh, God. Damn but did you it. kick her in the eyes? No, I didn't get a crit and didn't blind her. <laughs> Side slam. Not commenting a lot, I'm reading the chat. But I'm doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, you keep up on the chat more because with the action e games like this, I have a hard time keeping up with the chat. Hey Madrai, I don't suppose a new chapter of my of my immortal is available yet. Not Mr. yet. Turok. I have a lot of weekend stuff planned though. I bet. Come on, get up, Ivory, one hit another finisher. Who's the person who sent me the flash trash thing? Did I tell you that I was sent a game for flash trash? You told me that you've been sent a ton of games, but then you forgot. Yeah, but this one I've saved. So okay, nice good. Okay, Mei Young, you can die now. It's just I've got to motiv motivate myself to play it. Okay, I'm just gonna tire in the tree of woe. Nope, got it. Capitalize. Ah, oh, god, she got out of it. Ow! Come on. You know, yeah, Mae Young hit whatever your finisher. Oh yeah, I forgot they gave her the jackhammer as the finisher, weirdly enough. Goldberg's finisher. 
There you go. Hit your finisher, you did the damage, and I'm gonna pick up the remains. Did you well, lose it? No, no, I still have it. They're talking in the chat about my name now. Because uh, Van spelled it wrong, and now Joker's making fun of him for it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. This match should not take this long. Yeah, this match has so far been going on longer than the one where the uh, NPCs wouldn't pin each other. Yeah. That was a Silverlight comment. <gasps> Silverlight? Like from RuneScape? What? Silverlight was one of the weapons you needed in a RuneScape quest. Oh, I thought you meant Silverlight as in the, the completely garbage video player. No. I'm talking about Silverlight the weapon from RuneScape. Obviously, you should know about it. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mei Young. I hate you, Mei Young. There, hit her with a splash. That should do some damage. Ed, Ed Sheer. I feel like a, the Elder Scrolls for Imperial uh, Imperial Guard. Why won't you die? <laughs> you get yes. Okay, May Young, out of my fucking ring, you bitch. God, Ivory, don't get back up. Ivory, get... Just walk into the grapple, Ivory! God damn it! Okay, this might be it! One, two, three! What the hell is Duke? Oh my god, I did it! I did it! I did it! What the hell is Duke? Um, I don't know. What are you talking about? D O O G. I think it means dog, but he spelled it wrong. No, because they've been doing this since the beginning of the stream. Oh, uh. -huh. They said that I haven't proven myself and that I am not Duke. I have no idea. <laughs> you think you would know, considering it's your chat. Mm hmm. There we go. Tonight, there's a new women's champion. It's Viscera. Congratulations, you've become the women's champion. But in order for you to remain the champion, you must endure, endure all the difficulties that are placed before you. We have faith in your ability to succeed. New women's champion, Big Daddy V, Viscera. What the fuck? Now they're now they're talking about how the fact the fact that I don't know what it means. Hell no. They're retarded. Let's and... just stop addressing it. Yeah, I will. Alright. Brandon, what championship are we going for next? Um, we're gonna go for... European. European? Yeah. Alright, alright. I already have pre-planned who I'm gonna be for European. I actually have them all written down. We have to go with our own hometown hero. Where is he? I passed him. Velvinus. Uh, you know where Velvinus is from? No. Velvinus was born in um, Oakville. Oh. Yeah. Very close. He had a porn star gimmick, and he's a fucking awesome wrestler. His finisher is the diving splash, or as he calls it, the money shot. So the first, the very first um, uh, match of the whole storyline is a win or lose. It still progresses the story in different directions. We're already going for the European Championship. What? And we're against the dry bread. Wait, 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 wait. If we're already going for the championship, wouldn't it be like over after this match? No, the rest of the storyline is uh, about. You'll see, you'll see. 
So I'm beating myself up here. Which is not going to be easy. You're the European champion? Yeah. It's the only championship I already did. Oh, okay. Come on. Yes, nice butterfly suplex there into a knee drop. That's actually a move that I do, too. Ow. That would literally be ow, because he's killing you. Yeah. Neck breaker. Ooh, nice lariat. Why is MDB? Why is MBD here? You mean N M D B? <laughs> no, no, no. The bread dry. <laughs> Fuck said you. M B D. <laughs> yes. Denied the DDT. Gonna go straight into a vertical suplex. My bread dry is like a statement saying your bread is dry. My dry bread is you. Gonna do some nice pelvic swivels into the mountain, uh, ground and pound. You're gonna do pelvic swivels into your own face. It's not gay if it's masturbation. Oh, what? the Savage Helios. MBD means Mega Brandon Dragon. Oh. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, you know why I'm here? Because Mo Mega Digivolved me into Charizard. Yes. I forget who was the actual European champion in the game. I think it was Eddie Guerrero. No, it was uh, Dean Malenko. Uh, by default, is Dean Malenko in this game. Or was he light? Mm, actually, was it him or was, it, uh, or was he light heavyweight? You know what? I think Dean Malenko was light heavyweight. Uh, oh yeah, my it God. might have been Eddie Guerrero then. Mo, don't hate. Masturbate. I don't hate them. <laughs> yes! Folded him with the Lariat. One. Only a one count. Ah, oh, God. European uppercut. Why don't you just give up your own goddamn championship? It is you. Because I don't have control over that. Yeah. Dive and Lariat. Ooh! Step up in Zagiri. Drop kick. Ah, I was hoping to knock him out of the ring with that. Okay. I don't think this will hit, but let's try it. Money shot. No, he brought up the knees. You're getting your ass kicked by yourself. Fuck. Well, he's tough. He or you? Me. Ah. Yeah. Alright. Running grapple? No, he backed off. That was smart of him. Countered! Knee drop. <laughs> and you failed. No, I got this, I got this. Oh god, this is really back and forth. No one can really capitalize on the other. Well, it is a championship match, so the difficulty is high. There we go, Manhattan drop. Now it's followed up. Oh, he brought up the knees again! Okay, I got a little bit of space here. Get a little bit of momentum back. Another back body drop. Mo, don't hate. Procreate. <laughs> Come on. F fuck. Oh god, swinging neck breaker. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Well, you've been asked a question. No, you haven't. Never mind. It's not a question. Yeah, I saw the question too. I'm not acknowledging it because there is no fucking question mark! 
<laughs> you guys are better than that. Come on. <laughs> well, you can't sub it in and not have it after the actual question. You failed. What is that face? I don't know. I see it on like every stream I ever watch. I know. I know what it's supposed to mean, I just don't know who it is. What's it supposed to mean? It's... look at his face. Just look at the face and you know what it means. No, I can't see. The pixels are too small. Oh, well, you're gonna have to look up a bigger version of it because I don't know how to describe it. Shoulder rams to the gut. Get in the corner. God damn it. Well, I made a good move, Set. I'll give him that. Oh, I dodged the knee drop. Oh, capitalize, capitalize. Come on. One. Man, that would kill. Missing a top rope knee drop? Just driving your own knee into the ground? Yeah, it would hurt a lot. Eh. Come on. No! Uh... <laughs> Come on. You gotta keep him in the corner. It's not working, he drop kicks me out of the corner. And my drop kick didn't work. Okay. Into the ropes. Duck under. Drop toe hold and throw the injured knee. I'm gonna work over the leg after he did that diving knee drop and missed. Huh. I don't know that. I think a little bit of submission strategy is in order here. You can win this. You're good at wrestling games. Exactly. I'm using strategy here. I saw him miss the knee drop, so I'm capitalizing. Break the eye and go right back to the single leg Boston Crab. Asshole. Guys, fuck off with the face. <laughs> I hate when people start just spamming a meme or something like that in exchange for cleverness. Dr just drop it with the face already. It's not any good when you don't use it sparingly. Yeah, that's true. Even Bick is annoying as shit when you don't use it sparingly. Ah, oh, goddamn counters. Yeah, that's why I tend to only say Bic when I say hello. Okay, Brandon, if it keeps going on, start handing out temp bands. Ah, uh, yeah. I yeah, get it. your get your trigger finger ready. And make sure to <laughs> click on the name and actually go to it there instead of beside their name, because the, the chat scrolls and you always accidentally get someone the wrong guy with that. Yeah. Wait, if I click on their name, it doesn't bring me to their account? Brings up a menu. No, it brings up a little mini menu for mods. Oh, okay. Come on, roll up, schoolboy. One. Only a one count. Jesus, championship fights are hard in this game. Yes! Arm breaker. This is a perfect opportunity. Going right to the top rope. Dive! He got up in time. This is the third time I failed that move. Fourth time the charm. Come on. I hit. Come on. Just gotta get one good grapple on this guy. He's deacon me out. I got him. I got him. Stack him up with a power bomb right on the shoulders. Thanks. Oh, two and a half. That was a good power bomb too. That that thing you're wearing, your, uh... Oh. Your pants thing just does not fit you good. What pants thing? Well, the thing that you, not you, as in MDB, but, uh, Valvinus is, like, their pants Ooh. don't fit well. Oh, you mean the, uh, the tights? Yeah. The, uh, the short tights? Oh, they fit them great in real life, it, it just doesn't translate well to the game. Doesn't translate well. Yeah. Well, that's weird. Oh, I just saw I got a tweet from uh, from Doug. You should tell Doug that I'm streaming right now so you can come into the stream if he's free. Okay, well, I... I finally got a finisher. Oh, that's not even my name. Never mind. Come on. Yes. And yeah, 
Frankensteiner off the top rope. And I'm not done with them. I'm gonna finish them with my own fisherman suplex, or as Valvinus called it, the big package. Come on. Yes! Championship victory. He's got a replay on that fisherman suplex. I love that move. Doesn't look the greatest in this game because they don't link up the hands properly, but it still looks pretty good. It's a good move. Madurai wins. See, he should link <laughs> with the two hands there. He's supposed to clasp the two hands together after they've landed the suplex, you know, to keep them pinned down. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a good move, though. I love the fisherman suplex. It needs to be used as a finisher more often. I don't know why my name is getting destroyed in this chat. Alright, we're the champion. Yeah! Yeah! European champion! Now it's our first of defending the championship match. All there right. we go. First we're defending it match. against uh, Steve Blackman, who apparently didn't need to win number one contendership. Alright, so we're fighting uh, lethal weapon Steve Blackman. He has awesome strikes and submissions. And beard. And he whacks you with a kendo stick a lot. Oh. Mr. Turok just spelled my name like the worst possible way. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's not even capitalized. Yeah. Uh, what was your name again? Damien? Yeah. Oh, that was awful. That was amazing. That's what that was. It was like every time clockwork. Delayed vertical suplex. It was. It was. Nobody knows the answer to the question. Damien? I'm like sitting there just like not even paying attention. <laughs> and I'm like, huh? Do you mean <laughs> it's me? bad that at a point you started reacting to it because you were used to that being your name in it. Yeah. You should give me marks on my thing and be like, good work, Damien. I'd be like, yeah. my name is on the sheet. You've shown me that before, <laughs> where it's like 100%. Good job, Damien. It's not your name. <laughs> my name is in the box, is his name. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what it was. Didn't she say that she had a student in another class called Damien or something that looked just like you? Apparently, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know anyone else at that school who looked just like you, nor did I know any Damien's at the school, so... Yeah. Yes, go to the top rope. Yes! Room right off, let's go for the money shot immediately. Oh wow, I hit! One, two... Oh my god, I got like a two and a half in the first minute and 30 seconds of the match. Nice. You can probably win this really soon. Yeah, I think this is going to be a quick match. This one's definitely lower difficulty than the last one. Oh god! Oh god, he's freaking out! Did you see that? <laughs> okay, I hit him with a nice pendulum backbreaker. And uh, I think I got a DDT as one of my moves. I want to DDT him. Yeah! Oh, he's still getting back up. Okay, I'll stack him up with that power bomb. That might get the win. Oh no, he's I powering through. I tell you what the chat's saying, but they seem to be more interested in the fact that the Doug's here now. The fuck is he? Oh, I know this glitch. Eh, that fixed it. Okay. What the hell? Yeah, it's a glitch that only happens on emulator. I am not entirely sure why it happens, but if you make a save state on the emulator, it fixes it. Huh. I don't know why. Yes, German suplex. I defend the championship in under three minutes. German suplex is an awesome move. That's got to be a finisher more often. It's a German finisher suplex. often in Japan. The German suplex does look good. Yeah, it looks like it would kill you. It's an actual Greco Roman suplex, too. <laughs> yeah, and the bridge must be hard to do. Yeah, it's got to be hard. That looks like it would kill your back. Yeah, and I see people do it like when Kurt Angle does it. After the slam, he actually bridges, and he bridges by um, keeping the top of his head on the ground. Oh, like, that would hurt my back. Yeah. And, uh, and Kurt Angle, by the way, I'll remind you, is A, bald, and B, has had three fusion surgeries on his neck. Because he's had his neck broken so many times. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know how that man still wrestles. He should have retired, like, ten years ago. Don't get me wrong, one of the best pro wrestlers in the world. But, uh, yeah, he should have retired. He's one of those yeah. guys who, he was an Olympic wrestler. He actually won the gold medal at the Olympics once for Olympic wrestling. And then he got into pro wrestling, and it just translated so well. Hmm. Well, 
I like the Titan Fronts in this game. They're like stop motion. <laughs> so now I'm defending my championship against D'Lo Brown. They're they're stop motion and they're also horrible. Yes. Uh, now I'm actually kind of worried about this because D'Lo Brown, as much as he is an awful like booker and story maker in creative, he works for TNA now. He was an awesome wrestler. And in this huh. game, he does have the Sky High um, Spine Buster as one of his moves. It's an S-rank damage move that ends in pinfall immediately. It's really hard to kick out of. That's awesome. And his other move... Oh, look, MDB. And his other move is the Lowdown, which is like a high-angle frog splash off the top <laughs> oh, rope. fuck? Why did you run in? Probably because I'm he's, he's pissed about losing the championship. Yoink. All right, back to my match. Ow. Gotta fucking just get a grapple on someone. <laughs> I can't fucking grab anyone. Ah. Yes, yes. Get a pendulum backbreaker. Okay, that might be enough to get him out of the ring. I love that my reaction to getting hurt in a game is always to say ow. Yeah. Even though in real life it's not actually hurting me at all. At all. I'm always like, oh, damn it, ow. And pendulum backbreaker to you. That would have been a great setup for the uh, diving splash. Ooh, yeah, that would have been a great setup. You would have been like in the perfect position to land a pinfall too, because you can hit it yep. and do full damage. But if they're not like horizontal uh, with you, you won't end it in a pinfall. Mm -hmm. And you do want to end in a pinfall because there is a chance they'll get right back up. So. Good question from the chat. Madrai, do you have any DBZ games to stream? Um. Not really. Most of my Dragon Ball Z games are um, are on the Wii, and I don't have a capture card. I love, I love um, Dragon Ball Z games. They're awesome. They are awesome. Ah, uh, come on! I'm crushing this guy. You know what? I should hit him with the. Uh, I should hit him with the, uh, the spine buster. That's how Volvinus would set up the money shot in real life. It's just in this game, it's kind of hard to set it up for a pinfall. Dig mm. under it. And. Oh, that was a power slam. Okay, apparently, if I tap it instead of hold it, that'll be a spine buster then. I right. want whatever DBZ game there was for the PlayStation 1, whatever the fuck that was called. Uh, I know the one you're talking about, and it was awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sweet. Yes, go for the big package. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna beat this guy with his own finisher. I'm gonna steal a finisher. Yeah, I'm gonna beat him with the Sky High Spine Buster. Nice. Oh, it's an awesome move. It looks a lot better when they're coming off the ropes, though, when he does it. <sighs> I think now they're just trying to suggest games for the birthday stream? No, I think just games in general for you to play. One of them was Phoenix Wright, so... I do have a list, actually. Um, I, plan to, I plan to maybe do stuff with Phoenix Wright one day, but not on the stream. Uh, probably uh, not on the stream, at least. Doug's played a little bit of Apollo Justice. Uh, I have Apollo Justice. Um, I've actually beaten every uh, Ace Attorney game. Apollo Justice was really good. You just kicked yourself. Yep, backstage assault. Um, Frozen Water apparently wants uh, more Warhammer. Yeah. More Warhammer, Ubik. Fucking ah! Okay, I'm gonna kill myself with a fire extinguisher. I'm doing like leaping through the air, fire extinguisher shots to the head. It's great. Uh, Break the eyes. What? Uh, uh, Mr. Chark apparently recommended a game, a great game. It's apparently a free one. It's called Zeke 2 Life. Uh, what? I've never heard of it. He he apparently really wanted me to read it. Uh, I missed it. Zeke 2. I don't think I've ever Zeke, heard of that. No, no, Zeke 2 Life. I don't think I've ever heard of this. I've never heard of it either. I don't remember it, at least. 
Ah, come on. Yeah. I got him to bleed. Russian Ooh. leg sweep. You're telling me that you just threw yourself into the actual ring. Zeke like, too light. Yeah, never heard of oh, it. Oh, light. Sorry, if I if I screw up like little letters like that, it's always my resolution fault. Yeah. Seeing the letters that small, it's like okay, what okay, does that I'm gonna say? hit him with the most world class big boot, unless he dodges like that and hits me with a sweet swing, a swinging neck breaker. Come on. Yes. He's so mad that you took his title. Yeah. Come on. I had him stacked up and I only got him with a one count. It's a free DBZ game. Apparently. Uh, hey, Brandon, do me a favor. I'm gonna Google it. Yeah, Google it for me and tell me what it is. So it's like Z E Q. Yes, Camel Clutch. Light. God, that's gotta hurt. Um, nice. Come on. One, two, count two. Oh, two and a half, two and a half. Big boot! Ah, come on. Oh. No, that's not how this is gonna go. Vertical suplex on the ramp. Yeah. Small package roll up. It looks Two. like a really <sighs> horrible game. What is it exactly? I think it's the one on one fighter. But like the the Dragon Ball Z universe. It just doesn't look like a good one. Second victory with the uh, German suplex, this time on steel flooring. I, I just hope that I'm getting that right. It's just... It's weird trying to find, because... It's kind of... It's, I don't know, it's just weird. Oh, it's apparently multiplayer. Uh... No, it's madness, absolute madness. Check out some gameplay. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably look up gameplay after the stream. So apparently, what's happening next in the story is that MDB is now competing for Chris Benoit's Intercontinental title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run in and ruin his title shot. Hmm. Yeah. Now, that does mean this is another match where I'm banking on uh, Chris Benoit to pin someone. However, this time I'm directly on the side of one person, so it's going to be way easier. Mm. Wow, he hit a German suplex already. I like how in this game you can puff out your chest to block low blows. <laughs> you punch me in the dick, I'm going to puff out my chest. What? So it's the Canadian Crippler versus uh, myself. Oh yeah, did you did you look for your old uh, yearbook? No, not yet. Okay, just let me know whenever you get around to that. Nice Saito suplex there by the amazing MDB. I think I show up at the one minute point. Okay, so I, I did look up gameplay really fast. Um... It looks like a really like it, it looks like a really really bad version of the like the the Budokai Tenkaichi games. Mhm. Mm it's like it's got really big maps, but it's just like a really bad version. I'm willing to try it out at least. Yeah, I'm Could totally cool. willing to try it out. Maybe yeah. it's really good, but it just looks awful. So I came in and hit a sweet blue thunder bomb. I can't see my own momentum in this match since it's a run in though, and that sucks. Go, Chris Benoit! <laughs> I've heard a lot of mispronunciations of his name because it's French. And yeah. we live in Canada. We know what it's like to have French words be fucking butchered. Yep. I know people who don't know how to spell Godfrey, even though Godfrey's an... Uh, it's a... It's, a, it's, they, technically, it's technically a French name. Did they spell it Godfrey? 
or Godfrey. Well, uh, people get really confused after the F. G O D. F. R E Y. It's not a hard name. In fact, Godfrey is. Maybe it's just because I play like a lot of games like that are like medieval and stuff. But Godfrey was a pretty ba big last name. It's not really anymore, but it was pretty big. Mm -hmm. Yep. I remember learning the lineage of the name. It's great. The uh. All of them child killers. <laughs> no. Well, probably. Yeah, pro <laughs> well, when you go far enough back in history, yeah, they're all child killers. One of the most famous ones was one of the Templar Knights, one of the originals. There was nine originals. Oh, one of the uh, one of the paladins on Charlemagne's court? That's awesome. I, he, uh, he, his, his cross was one of the weird ones. He had a weird cross to go with him, but he was charged to go and take over Jerusalem in, the, I think, the First Crusade. Uh, he held, I don't, he, held it he for wasn't a, successful, was he? He held it for a year and then had to leave. Oh, he held it for a whole year. I thought that it was Second Crusade is when they actually took Jerusalem. No, they took it They took it in the second one, but the first one they held it for a year. Yeah. I, my history of the Crusades is a little bit shaky because there were like 14 Crusades. Yeah, the first and second are very famous Crusades. The most famous one was King Richard's Crusade. Wasn't that second? Was it? I think it was second or third was King Richard's Crusade. I never remember. Now they're speaking French in the chat. You know what's awesome was um, in in Civilization One, and I think also Civilization Two. King Richard's Crusade is a world wonder. Huh? It's crazy good. It's like you just start spawning Crusaders, which are like upgraded knights in every single city. It's basically, if you want to dominate war through the medieval era, you do that. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a really good wonder to get. It's just, you had to kind of beeline a lot of strange technologies to get it and stuff. So you kind of lag behind the technology for a while, but if you manage to pull it off, you're in a really strong st uh, point. And it's mm -hmm. great if you picked monarchy or even just stuck with despotism, because then you get a lot of units free. And uh, you don't have the republic and the democracy, so people aren't like overruling your calls to war. Yeah. God, the early games are really fun in a different way that the new games are fun. Is that Kurt Angle? Why is Kurt Angle here? He's mad at you. He He's against me. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, not Kurt Angle. He'll fuck me up. Now this is before he did the ankle lock, but he still does have the Olympic Slam in this game, and the Olympic Slam is badass gonna kick your ass. The two of them are gonna kick your ass especially. Kurt Angle's one of the best guys in the game, I think. Uh, he reverses a lot and stuff because he's a really technical wrestler. He's a mat wrestler. Mm. Come on. There's a few good shots. Ah, come on. I've almost got him out of the ring. If you do enough damage, they leave. No. Don't give me your fireman's carry bullshit. Ow. You're gonna get your ass beat. Oh, guys, we have a rule in the chat. Please speak English. Is Come there, on, there... Doug, you know the rules. Is there a rule for not speaking different languages? Yes, there's a rule that the major that in unless I specifically ask, please speak English. Hmm. Because I don't know any other language. What's well, that's that's a good rule. Yeah, this is an totally. English stream, so let's just speak English. Friendly oh, Doug is speaking Franklish. Well, hi and welcome to Canada, where we have <laughs> we have we don't have French, we have Quebecois French, which is very different. It's almost entirely different language. I, I don't speak English. I speak American. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say I speak American. It's depressing. Guys, you gotta keep up the rule. I do have the band hammer on for, for banning people. Yeah, seriously, I, especially when I remind you guys of the rule. Come on. Although, Boom. I do believe I know what the Savage Helio said.
Come on, one more good spine buster. Arn Anderson style where you duck it the first time. No, he just got right back up. Okay, I'm gonna power bomb him. Come on. You can do it, Goku. Okay. I'm gonna just break his back in an Irish whip. There we go. That turned him inside out. One, One count. You're cena this. I'm gonna... Yeah. You shit. Super Cena. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for some really big moves here. I'm gonna go for a superplex. Eddie Gilbert! Okay, come on, do it. You see that? I did the El Eddie Gilbert special. You remember from uh, WCW Wrestling on NES? All I remember is dropkick, pinfall. <laughs> Double dropkick, <laughs> we both miss, one guy gets a first. Pinfall! Also, you remember uh, getting up on the top rope and then getting back down and then getting back up. Yeah. And uh, no, guys, Klingon is not a language that we speak. Just English. English. <laughs> One, two, Come on. Oh my god, I almost got the pin off a of vertical suplex. Come on. Ooh, he decked me! Holy shit, he took advantage! Oh god, he's got me in the figure four! Come on. Locked him up. There we go. One, two, count two. Oh, God. That should be one of the rules. You should make a rule that you're not allowed to speak American. Yeah. <laughs> you have to speak English. Spinebusters, third one this match. Come on. One, two, three. Yes. I pinned him with the Spinebuster. I pinned me with the Spinebuster. Nice. I speak spots <laughs> Spottish. Scottish, which gets easier to understand when drunk. <laughs> yes! I wanna replan that. It's not the best animation for the double R spine buster, or for the double A spine buster rather, but um It's it's a good animation, I think. It's just the follow-up isn't as good with the pin, you know? It doesn't get me right in pinning position. Yeah. Holy pixelated underwear. <laughs> it's pretty pixelated, yeah. I think that might be the end of uh, the European Championship one. It's another one of the short championships. Oh, no, there, it looks like there's another match or two. Who should I choose as my partner? Chris Jericho, uh, Test, or Perry Saturn? Now, all three of these guys are awesome. Harry Saturn was probably the best from a technical wrestling standpoint, and Testa was probably the worst. Chat, we're gonna have to get a vote on this one. Brandon, your vote counts too. I'm gonna say Saturn. Perry Saturn? Okay, okay. Venus is sucking his thumb. Kind of looks like he is. Uh, we got one for Test, one for Jericho. So we've won all the way around. Yep. Now, all three of these guys are really badass, by the way, so any one of them would be a good tag partner. Two for Saturn. We got two for Saturn? Yep. We got Silverlight. Who was the first for Saturn? Me. Oh, you! <laughs> I was reading. Okay, so we got two for Saturn. So, so far, you're winning. <laughs> guys, legitimate votes only. Fuck off. <laughs> Is getting really annoying. Two for Jericho. Two for Jericho. Mm -hmm. uh, we got three, three for, for Saturn. Saturn. Yeah, I think it looks like Saturn's winning so far. Going once. No, Jericho just got the three. Oh, okay, we're, we're tied. And we got another one for Test. The oh no, he, he was already voting for Test, okay. Yeah guys, don't repeat yourself, it gets confusing. 
Okay, I think Jericho might be winning now by one point. Okay, Jericho's winning by one. Okay. He's the Canadian killer. Oh, we got Doug for Saturn. So it's the same now. 4-4? Four, four? Okay, we're 4-4. Yeah. We're four, four. Next person. Next person that votes. Uh... Joker changed his vote to Jericho, so now it's 5-4. That's 5-4 that's then? Okay. Yeah. Going once. Going twice. Three times we're so. Jericho. All right, we're going to go ask Chris Jericho. You can't do your count one, one to three, and then do it one, two. I do it about as three. slow as the referees count. Because A, wrestling game, and B, I'm kind of trying to make up for stream lag. Yeah, but you were the ref. <laughs> Not anymore. Was it? No, Viscera was the ref. <laughs> oh. Visegra. All right. So we got Chris Jericho as our partner. He's got the double power bomb, the uh, the lion salt, which is the middle rope moon salt, and uh, he's got. Uh, what's it called? Also, I see a temp ban that needs to be handed out. Um, right, he's got the Lion Salt, he's got the, uh, the Lion Tamer, or the Walls of Jericho, depending on which company it is. How do I do a temp ban? A timeout? Yeah, timeout. There we go. Um, the, yeah, right, so he's got the submission, which is the Walls of Jericho, which is a high-angled... Um, it's a high-angled Boston Crab while he drives his own knee into the guy's, like, back of his head and neck. Uh, the double powerbomb, which is two powerbombs in a row. And the lion salt, which is a middle rope moon salt. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna start getting you for that Broly thing, because yeah, that's even it, getting it's, annoying. It's getting really annoying, guys. You're really getting on my tits today. My proverbial tits. Come on, guys. I've had a shitty enough day with a certain pastry. Fuck. You know what I'm talking about, right, Brandon? I know what you're talking about. A certain about. pastry who hijacked the fucking PTCP uh, YouTube, so I had to make a new one. I had to spend two goddamn hours today changing URLs and uh, putting videos in playlists. And it's still not back to where it was before because it still needs to get enough views now to have certain restrictions removed. So yes, I'm a little bit pissed today, so if people would just enjoy the stream with me, that would be very much appreciated. Alright. Now, there aren't many tag team moves in this game, unfortunately. Like, there aren't any I can do out of the corner, which kind of sucks. That wasn't added until the later ones. So, okay. Yeah, just got plowed with a high knee. Oh god, I just remembered something. I just remembered a really shitty gimmick. Okay, how many of you guys remember Brutus the Barber Beefcake? Okay, well he had an even worse gimmick once. It was... Oh god, it was Brutus the Barber Beefcake. When he was in WCW for a while, he had a gimmick where his name was like the Ass Man or something. It was basically the same gimmick that Billy Gunn had for a while. And the thing about it was that he would... Half of his offense would be like ass strikes and stuff. The Booty Man, that was it. And his finisher was a jumping high knee. Get it? Because high knee? Oh. It was seriously, like, a career-endingly shitty uh, yeah. series of, um... Yeah, yeah, that's totally shit. Yeah, like, you pretty much can't recover your career after you being that much of a joke, you know? And it was a good finisher, honestly. I can picture that move as a finisher, and he did it well. He wasn't the greatest wrestler in the world. He was one of those guys who, like weren't super talented, but they were good at, good at uh, pumping up the crowd. He was one of those guys. He was like Hulk Hogan, but better. Even though he was <laughs> basically blowing Hulk Hogan every moment of his career. The only reason he had a career is because of Hulk Hogan. He was basically Hulk Hogan's lackey in the WWE. Alright, I'm gonna kick his ass with Jericho so we can see a new moveset. 
Jericho, by the way, who is from Winnipeg. Jericho's from Winnipeg? Yes. Jericho is... A lot of people consider him best in the world for wrestlers. There are a lot of best in the worlds. Yep. There's a lot of best in the world for a lot of things. Yeah. It's a game of the year. It gets handed out to everybody. Yeah. Except in wrestling, it tends to be handed out more to people who deserve it. Yeah. Like, Chris Jericho is one of the people who I can understand why they would have that title. He really is fucking amazing at everything he does in the wrestling business. He also is part of a really shitty band. I believe the band is called Ozzy, and it sucks. Mm. Yeah. Being, I'm taking my very calm, uh, my very calming glass of tea. I almost just spilled all of it all over the place. What kind of tea are you drinking? Uh, just orange pico. So you've been getting more into tea, I hear. I have been. That's awesome to hear. I fucking love tea, and I I'm actually like really lucky. I drink four cups of tea a day. <laughs> I, I I drink. Uh, I actually get a lot of fancy teas now because since Fatima's been working at Starbucks for so long, um, she gets free. She gets a free markout every week, and what she does is, since she's always at work anyways, she instead gives the free markout to me, and it will just give me tins of like really high quality tea. Mm -hmm. We, uh, my mother and my sister love tea, so they buy high quality teas, and I just drink their tea. So. Yeah, I know that um, some of the tea I've had there at your place uh, is some of the ones I've had at home before. Uh, you guys get Twinings? We get Twinings, we have Teopia, we've got... Um, do you ever get uh, Tazo? Uh, I think Tazo sometimes. is the Starbucks-owned brand, and that's the one that I mostly drink outside of just Red Rose, Orange Pico. Did you know that Red Rose is Canadian? Orange Pico is Canadian. Whatever. Yeah. Red Rose is Canadian, too. It's just the entire type of tea called Red Orange Rose. Pico is a Canadian blend. It's Red almost Rose only, only available in Canada. Pico. In fact, Tornado DDT. Let's get him with the Lion Salt. Boom. I completely missed there. That could have been great. Whoa, Canadians drink tea as well? You no. didn't know that? Tea's a really big thing here. Tea's a really big thing everywhere right now. Well, yeah, it's been getting bigger, but yet uh, Canada's always been big about tea because of the English influence. Sweet. Remember, we aren't the states. We never tried to be not Britain. We we were never we never went through that rebellious teenage phase of no, -uh, we're not part of them. We're not like them that the states had. We're in the states. You actually have to order hot tea to get a regular tea. Oh yeah, you do, don't you? I've heard that where my mom went to the States before order... she ordered tea and got like the most nasty watered down iced tea she's ever had. It's because it's, the reason it's nasty is because you, you get it without sugar in it. Yeah. You have to put sugar in yourself because you, if you order a sweet tea, then you get a, a regular iced tea. Sweet tea is also the nickname of, um, of, uh, oh, I almost got a sweet moon salt there. Sweet tea is actually the name of, um, of uh, A-Train slash Albert slash Tensai, whatever you want to call him in WWE. It's awesome. Okay, Jericho Bomb, the double power bomb. Mr. Turok drinks black tea. Uh, me too. I don't put anything in my tea. And I leave I, the bag in, too. I put a little bit of milk and a little bit of sugar in mine. Um, I will have that on very rare occasion if I'm really feeling it, but for the most part, I drink my tea black with the bag left in. It's just too bitter for me. I can have the bag left in. It's just too bitter with without milk and sugar. I got really for used me. to it. When you drink as much tea as I do for as long as I have, it becomes kind of weak for you. I've kind of ruined tea for myself in that way. Yeah, I've, I've only just started drinking tea, so... Yeah. Don't drink I've... as much as I do. Because you'll kind of ruin yourself for it. I drink four cups a day. <laughs> yeah, you probably shouldn't. And plus, uh, you shouldn't be drinking that much tea unless you're having a lot of iron in your diet, because it lowers the rate at which you absorb iron. I could probably do with less iron. Um, having oatmeal in the morning really helps with that. Also, uh, beets. Beets actually increase your body's ability to absorb iron. But I hate beets. They're disgusting. Oh, I love beets. So, uh, have oatmeal in the morning. That'll more than make up for the tea. Yeah, but I don't like oatmeal either. You're a disgusting human being. Have you ever had, um, like, homemade porridge? No. Homemade porridge and, like, instant oatmeal is totally different. You might end up liking porridge, unless the texture is what you don't like, then you won't like it. It's the texture. Okay, because the texture is like about the same. Vomit. Yeah, the texture is about the same. It's gross. Oof. 
chocolate helps, full of iron. Well, Doug, it would help if I wasn't trying to eat healthy. Yeah. Well, a little bit of uh, chocolate today is actually recommended. It's just combined with the average diet of the average person nowadays, you don't need the chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, most doctors recommend that you eat of chocolate every day because it is good for you as long as, you know, the rest of your diet is also balanced. My diet's totally not balanced. I'm just eating a shit ton of protein. <laughs> A high protein diet, a low carb and high protein diet is actually really good for building muscle. And building muscle is really good for losing fat. I know a guy who almost <laughs> exclusively eats, um, almost, almost all that he eats now is, uh, salad. Is he makes a lot of salad, and for every other meal of the day, what he does is he just uses milk and protein powder to make into basically a pudding. And uh, then he does, and then he just does like push-ups or sit-ups or squats until he's tired every time he takes a shit, and uh, he's really ripped because he has almost no carbs in his diet and almost complete protein, and he exercises quite a bit each day. So uh, yeah, he's in great shape. He says he feels the healthiest he's ever been. He showed pictures of him before. He used to be a fat ass. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's basically gonna be this year for me. I'm gonna transform yeah. myself. It's not hard as long as you like doing it. As long as you've got the motivation... Oh, I fucking hate doing it, but hard. I have the motivation. Oh, I love doing it. The motivation is my problem, usually. I hate it, but I've got the motivation. Alright, I'm gonna hit some power bombs. I'm Irish, but I live... Not, uh, not that I've lived in Ireland. Well, keep in mind that you're also American, and the vast, 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 vast majority of people in the United States, and even most of Canada, have at least some Irish in them, because during the, Ir the big uh, potato famine, Irish immigrants outnumbered immigrants of every other kind in the States, including the population that was already there from when it was founded. You'd think that a lot of Canadians yeah. would have some Irish in them, but... What do? The I do. White, the white Canadians are much, becoming an extreme minority. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, white Canadians are a minority in quite a few provinces now. In almost enough, every province. In almost every province, uh, white people are the minority now, mm -hmm. which is actually kind of cool. Um, in fact, in Ontario, there are less Canadian-born Canadians than there are uh, immigrants from England. There are, the demographic of English people is higher than Canadian people. Did you know that? I didn't. In Ontario, the uh, Canadian is 23%, English is 28 huh. Yeah. Uh, English being the highest demographic in Ontario. Explains why we have a lot of English people. Doug, you should move to Ontario. That'd be amazing. Yeah, Ontario's a great place. Uh, high cost of living, but also high minimum wage. The big problem here is just finding a job. And it is Fucking... a big problem. The job market in Ontario is getting really bad because, um... I think it's, um... It's something like 85% uh, of the population of Canada lives within an, uh, within two or three hours of the border, of the southern border, and 75% of that 85% lives in the lives in the southern Ontario area where we live. So the job market in southern Ontario is flooded with with people looking for jobs. Yeah, I I put out a few res I've put out quite a few resumes in the past little while, and I. Still haven't got a call. Yeah. Oh, this is the final match, by the way. It's another nice. triple threat. Nice. Yeah, so, if you're trying to get a job, like, it's hard enough anywhere else, but if you're trying to get one in Toronto or, uh, Ottawa, good fucking luck. I'm having, I'm having such a hard time, and, like, I have to make money so I can go to school. He says he'll move to Quebec or Vancouver, then. Quebec's not far away from here. Uh, I'm Vancouver? Quebec. Actually, uh, the thing about Quebec is you'll face a lot of racism. Uh, in Vancouver, you pr actually no, you will in Vancouver too. Never mind. <laughs> uh, it depends on where you move in Vancouver. Uh, well, Vancouver hates the French more than they well, hate the British. Van Vancouver, the city Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Vancouver. Why not move to another city in BC? <laughs> because Vancouver is the big one. What about Victoria? Vancouver is much bigger. Victoria is the. The, uh... Yeah, but you can move to Victoria Island. Yeah. It'd be fucking better there. You know it'd be better than it'd be that? Beautiful there. 
probably be great moving to PEI. PEI is fucking awesome. It is beautiful and It's Victoria. an amazing place. It, and the crime is awesome. rate is like non-existent. It's like Burlington. Crime rate's not existent. No, crime rate in Burlington. There, there was a knife murder last year. In, in a Burlington? school. In Burlington? No. Yeah, that kid got shanked to death. No, that was in Oakville. M.M. Robinson. Mm. There was a dude shanked M. in M.M. Robinson. M.M. Robinson is not within the Burlington border. It's not? Nope. Where is it? Uh, I believe M.M. Robinson is either in uh, Milton or it's in um, right in between Hamilton and Burlington. Are you that, sure? There's, there's a city in between, yeah. What was the other place that had like a really bad like weapon attack but the guy didn't die? Was that Nelson? Probably. God, there's been a lot of shit like that. No, it was. You know where it probably was? Where? Um. Assumption. Oh yeah, assumption. <laughs> assumption was really bad for crime, right? What the hell was wrong with assumption? Uh, Catholic school. Yeah, yeah. Well, remember when uh, that what Campus Christie started up, and everyone was going there because like it was a really Campus rich Christie? school, and it turned out to be shit. Christie. Yeah, I've heard nothing good about their schooling. Pretty much everything everyone likes about it is just their, it's a really, really rich school funded by a rich eccentric guy. So, like, it's got, like, really beautiful cafes and stuff, but the really schooling the, sucks. The best school to actually get good schooling in the entire area was Nelson. It was probably Nelson and Bateman, honestly. Bateman ba had such horrible schooling. No, N Bateman's was completely hit and miss was the problem where all the teachers were either really young or really old, and that means that you either get really young teachers who have no idea what they're doing and are tense as fuck, or they're really young and have cool ideas, or the really old ones that know exactly what they're doing and are amazing because of it, or the old crotchety ones who don't understand change. So it was really hit and miss that way, where each teacher was either fucking garbage or awesome. You remember Mr. Bright? He was amazing! I never had Mr. Bright as a teacher, so I didn't know how he taught. Oh... Uh... He was amazing. Um, Best teacher I've ever had in my life. But we had teachers like Miss Fair who were like totally just too social with the students and didn't teach. There were ones like that. Um, Miss uh, Wheelahan kind of had that problem, but not Ms. as much. Miss Wheelahan had the problem that she didn't know. Like she, she was old enough to know like what she, she was teaching. She, she just knew didn't exactly know how to what teach she was it. doing. She just didn't know how to get it across to us very well. And she was a, such a nice lady. You couldn't get mad at her. It's just. I didn't learn anything, yeah, and I, I didn't, tried. I didn't learn anything either. Well, you already knew all of it. Yep. You were you were Damien, the straight A student. <laughs> yeah, Damien, straight A student. I'm surprised. What did you get? A ninety-seven percent in that course, and you like, like slept yeah. through shit. <laughs> I was the person she would call on if no one would know the answer. No, Damien was. Well, <laughs> you're Damien, right? And she'd say Damien, and I would respond. Yeah. It got to a point where it's just kind of, I give up. I give up. My name is now Damien. My favorite quote of that entire uh, course, though, was still, um, Hello, Kelly. Mr. Matthews, we refer to him as Kelly. Did I ever tell you about how I ran into him in Mapleview once? I think uh, so. After, like, after I had already finished my schooling, I believe it was. Um, I ran into him. He, was, he had a Guitar Hero guitar. What? And he's like, oh, I'm like getting this for my friend, and we just talked about Chrono Trigger for a while. It was awesome. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have a lot of great experience with teachers throughout all of my schooling. Ow. Thanks, Angle. Fuck. My teachers only ever really liked me or paid attention to me if I was really putting in the effort for my class. Yeah. And they paid attention to me because I was either, they either didn't like me because I knew too much, or... Which, unfortunately, it was very common that you would have to put on all the effort, considering I remember your, the classes you had to be with. The generation of people you were lumped in with were, like, the worst one in the school. They were incompetent. Like, you probably had to do all the group work. Fucking group work? No, no, no. Group work was me telling them what to do, yeah, and watching over them while they do it, or doing it for them because they couldn't do it. Like, 
there were times where I opted out of doing group work where everyone was doing group work and I'd just do my work alone. Thank god I had the option. Yeah. I'm happy they give that option. The I've been only, given that one before, too. The only class I had a problem with for that kind of stuff was gym. Uh, because it was like, we're going to pick teams now. And then like people always picked me last for games like football or like floor hockey. Yeah. Although floor hockey, I was like the greatest goalie we could have had for floor hockey. And football, I was a great quarterback, but never going to play that role. You know, I actually get bu got bullied in grade 9 gym for being a cripple. Fucking assholes. Yeah. Yeah. I I got bullied all the way through high school. Yeah, I, didn't... I got bullied. I got bullied through high school for being smarter than other students. Yeah, I actually I got made fun of a bit for being smarter than them, and I just took it as a compliment, because they're like, "Okay, you're calling me smarter than you." Thanks. Got, and then they got, get all pissy about it. I got made fun of in my first year. The first year I took to my I took com tech, because I took time because we were doing we were doing like first level like like low level animation with like stick figure animator or whatever. Yeah. I remember I that my, when we were editing with Pivot. I took yeah, I was using the, the the stick pivot animator. I was I was going through that whole thing and I was doing it frame by frame, like getting the whole shot right. Yeah. And mine was like really good, and Mr. Zablocki loved mine. Oh yeah, Mr. Zablocki was a great teacher, by the way. He loved he was a, mine. he was another one of my favorites. And people laughed at mine. Like mine was like mine was just kind of serious, getting the things to go through the, all the motions of doing everything. Mm -hmm. And people like ended up laughing at me because mine was actually good well the the whole point of pivot like they they seem to not take it seriously they don't seem to understand the lesson in of doing pivot is he's teaching you how to keyframe mm -hmm. it's not just uh, like yeah you're never gonna seriously use pivot for something but it's a great and fun way to teach students how to keyframe and keyframing yep. is something you'll need to know for visual effects and I for also, flash i also got made fun of and bullied in my uh in my construction class even though my teacher told me I should go into doing construction work. Yeah, my teacher told me that too, because I already knew a lot about woodworking going into it. Yeah, in my final year of that class, um, he didn't, like, he knew that I was doing a lot of work and I was always ahead of people, so he decided that instead of giving me the regular assignments like regular people, he had actually got people who had commissioned, like, the, the they had commissioned the school to do jobs for him, like, fix clocks and do this stuff, and he'd give mm -hmm. it to me. That's awesome. I fixed a clock for this old woman. I'm sure to, she was very appreciative. We had to take out this like entire like gearbox of stuff, and I had to like refinish all the wood on it and stuff. It was great. I have a deacon's bench in my house right now. Those little benches that have like the hearts in them that are like chests in the bottom. Yeah. I have one of those in my house that I built. Yeah, I actually have a bedside table that I built. My bedside table in my room is the one I built. I also have a shelving unit I built. Um, one of the one of the construction classrooms has an entire shelving unit attached to a wall that in my grade nine year I built. Yeah. Because he was like, he gave us the assignment. I was a week late to this class, and we only had two weeks in our first year of doing the classes. Yeah. I was a week oh, late. Oh yeah, I, I remember built... that because it was the thing where like you do two weeks of every course to see what you like. Yeah. yeah. In my. I missed my first week because I think I was away from school for that week. So my second week, I finally get there. We had to make a pinball machine. I built that faster than everybody else. Then I had to make, uh, you had to do a little cutout of a fish, which I then built. And then he didn't have any other other assignments for me, and I was finished by Wednesday. So he didn't get me to do other stuff, so he just got me to build that. It's funny because uh, with the whole bullying thing of like me getting bullied in high school, I hardly got bullied past grade like once I got to grade 10 I hardly ever get bu got bullied and I think it's because people would talk to me way less they found me way less approachable and it's and people would tell me that I looked scary I got bullied all the way through high school and I think it's because apparently I looked scary because that's when I started wearing my uh you know how I had that black winter jacket actually you wouldn't have known me then I think you no you when you met me I already had my leather jacket yeah you had your leather jacket yeah I mean. before that I just had a black winter coat that I would always wear and I'd always have that on, and then, like, you know, I had my long hair and stuff, and it was grade 10 is around when I started wearing a ponytail sometimes. Mm hmm And as well as when I had the pink glasses, and I also actually got a new pair of pink glasses uh, Fatima gave me. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> haven't had one for a while. But uh, I had my glasses, and uh, I sometimes had a ponytail, and I always had that black coat on and stuff, and people just started to find me scary for some reason. Hmm. So, yeah. 
I, I remember, um, oh god, I don't remember his name. He was black and had an afro, and he was really nice, hung out with Mike sometimes, uh... Don't know. Oh, fuck, I forget his name. But I remember he walked up to, he came up to me one day just to say, like, he's like, he's like, you look like some kind of, uh, you look like some kind of, uh, ancient warrior or something, like some kind of barbarian, when I had, like, my ponytail in that day, and, like, I had my facial hair was all growing in and stuff. I'm like, oh, thanks. Because that was like after I got my leather jacket and stuff. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, I got I got bullied all the way through high school. I got bullied because of my weight mostly. Oh well, I do know that uh, Brandon Doyle's a douche. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Also, uh, I do remember when you sent that one message across the Halton District School Board messaging system. But that was system. in elementary school. Yes, but I got that because it was the whole system. I remember that incident. <laughs> I just didn't know it was you. <laughs> well, keep in mind, <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> know... Ha <laughs> ha you're dumb in 72 yeah. font. I had to write a fucking apology. Yeah. Ha 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 you're dumb to the staff and students of like 10,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then Frontneck never got to use chat again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ruined chat for all of Frontenac, as if anyone used it. Yeah. It was just for handing in assignments. Did anyone seriously use that thing to talk to each other? You know they were monitoring it. Oh yeah, they were totally monitoring it. Um... Yeah, I got, I got bullied all the way through high school. I got in a fight and I think in grade 11 with this one guy. I... I like underhand threw a snowball at him, and he ended up yeah. he ended up getting a good punch on me and broke my glasses. Oh, I had my gra my glasses broken a lot during high school, but it was mostly through like uh, accidents. I've mm. never had good glasses frames. Although my my elementary school bullying was a lot worse. In elementary school, people used to actually like like literally like how you see it in movies. Kids would beat me up. <laughs> yeah, in in uh, for me in elementary school, uh, no one really bullied me. Uh, because I was the weird kid with a huge special desk, and they just didn't talk to me. Oh. Which I was fine with, because I, I was, I've always been an introvert, so it's not a problem with me. Yeah, I've always been an extrovert that people make fun of me, so it was a problem that I didn't be, I wasn't able to make a lot of friends. So, yeah. that was never fun. But I ended up getting bullied a lot, and I, at, at one point in elementary school, I broke my finger. Ooh. And I had a splint, and after... After I went outside one day for recess, this one kid, he ended up coming up to me, and he took my hand, like, he took me by my wrist, and he was older than I was, and he was bigger than I was, like, yeah. quite strong. He pulls me over to the wall by my by my wrist, pushes my hand up to the wall, and just punches my finger, and I was like, What Fuck. a f dick! Did he get, like, expelled for that? No, he didn't even, he, I, he had to say sorry. Oh, no. So that happened to me, and then from then on, the, the the resolution to this is that I was gonna stay inside at recess. That's the resolution. Yeah. Is you get punished? Yeah. So I had to stay inside, and I couldn't leave the little uh, the main office kind of hallway. Yeah. Which was like no room, and there's like nothing to do there. And we had like we had way too long for lunch, so I was like sitting in there for so long. So my friends started to come in and sit with me. Yeah. And then we wouldn't be as bored, but then. We ended up getting bored after a while because I had to stay with the splint on forever. So then we finally go, and what we decided to do was we would sneak through the school and not have the teachers find us. Yeah. All the way through, and if we got back, we, we won. That sounds fun, actually. It was amazing because we'd, we'd, like, duck into classrooms and, like... It's way more fun than fucking sitting there. It's way more fun than going outside. Because the teachers yeah, were Yeah, I never everywhere. liked going outside. That's why in grade 7 and 8, I just stayed in. Because we actually in... had an option at, at, uh, to come see. I didn't have an option. I had to go outside. Okay, at my school, okay, you, you know how like the, the snow plows will come around and they'll plow up all the snow? Yeah. They'd plow it right into the school. Like, right into like the, these giant mounds that were like mountains for us because we were so young. Yeah. We weren't allowed to go on them or near them, but yeah. they blocked off the field. Yeah, that shit's stupid. So people would climb up with them anyway. Yeah. And and after a while they become so slick that they'd be like super fast slides. But at the bottom would be all the powdery snow, so you just smash right into the powdery snow, it'd be great. Oh. This match is impossible by the way. Or you'd run up and then jump off the other side. Oh god. 
Oh god, no! No, I'm still in the getting up animation! Fuck you, game. Ugh. Yeah, uh, I was still in the getting up animation. It's fucking bullshit. I know. I never get that luxury, they just instantly get back up for me. Um. Well, that's, this is one of the ones you can't fail, so it's just gonna make me try again. Whatever, I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Do you have anything right. else you want to say? Nope, I think I'm good. Alright, that's it for this stream then, guys. Uh, remember, tomorrow is going to be my, uh, tomorrow's gonna be my birthday stream, bright and early. So... Huh? Make sure to tune in for that. Yeah. So, until next time, have a nice day. See ya.